Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, smash the like button and the subscribe button. Press the bell so you get notified of our videos. In the last episode, we were telling the the guy who, who we thought was the um, person who's doing all this and... Oh, a coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Right, Time okay. to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. So yeah, if you haven't already gone back and seen the episode as you said, because it's actually quite interesting actually. Right, let's do this part. So I'm not, sorry I'm not like doing videos like every day, I'm just, I've had a lot going on at the moment. Changing the house around and family issues at the moment, so not really being consistent as I should be. But I hope you're enjoying the series and all that. Come on, hurry up. Absolute lie of when it comes to loading screens. Wiggins' tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Wiggins did a good job. Now I'm best to go. What? Okay. Missing person. Search the archives. Alright. What archives? <laughs> Is that like a library or something? Is this, is this my room or something? Uh, change. Okay, well, I'm going to go archive. Maybe be history. King Dragon. No, not that. I'm lost on this. Yeah. Research. It's not research. We don't know the year. Uh, 
Oh my god, this is... I don't know what this be. Coat of arms. There we go. Coat of arms of the Marsh family. Right, this is definitely old English. I can't even read any of this at all. So I'm just going to take you guys. Pause the video and read it as you want. Here it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? Uh, all right. Just want to press. Wasn't really paying attention because I pretty much zoned out <laughs> a bit. Uh, one I... That one. Only if our lives are in danger. All right then, have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? Pay Lord Marsh a visit. So what have I got then? So curve arms got that. The next generation is Marsh's house, and then right, that's what I've got to do. Can I can fast travel actually. Yeah, I can. Right. Good. Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Wait, so he killed her father, so he's taking her on as his own kid. I thought we never had him. 
Okay, I'm really getting absolutely lost at the moment with all this. Uh, come in, please. <gasps> Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. I have to examine now. Feels unwell, lack of sleep. Well, he does look unwell at the same time. Literally, he has like, had like no sleep. Uh, lack of sleep? Well, this is a. Uh, Move forward. The ring of Elfie family. He is ill. He's hiding something. Mm. I say he could be hiding something, or he could be ill. I'm gonna go if he's ill. Pills. Of health. Alright, oh, you guys can read this because I can't read that. It's too dry up for me to read. So. Not as much personal assistant. Or cooking recipe. Uh, personal assistant. Anything else? Simple. Any, well, I'm missing one more thing. Where is it? Doctor. Again, you guys can pause the video and read it of all these characters. First, be on this one. Have you done all that? Or is it A? Is I it hope is? we're not a. disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now too from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspiration. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. I recognize your face. March is. Where that? Where the. Disease? Disease? March is disease. Um. I just want to ask on this one. Oh, no, I know, it's a gamble, that one. I don't know if that one. Forgive me, Lord Marsh, you're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. 
It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Alright, do I ask to acknowledge your face or not? I've got to, I've got nothing else to do. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes, but also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. So Dr. Fisher's started that he is born. Alright, so now what do I do? A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. I'll walk around the house, see what I can actually find. Bags full of food. It's shut tight. It's closed. Well, that's closed. No, we've got upstairs. Oh, really? That's... Maybe talk to Lord Marsh again, sorry. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. Why is he so blooming joined up? Dear Lord Marsh, here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. Patrick Tanner, Thomas Kelly, John Strawbridge, Strawbridge, whatever it is. Wait. Underline, underline. Oh, I can't. Wait, 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 I'll get back. I can't I'll bother. I have to underline one name. I can't remember which name it was. I think it's out of these three. I can't remember. John Strobridge, I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. If 
don't know, just go middle. Always go middle. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Hello, Pam. Hey. Go here. I'm so lost on this game, I have no idea why I'm going or anything. Well, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Press the bell so you get notified when I upload videos. With that said, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.